Now, the number of Asians in the United States has nearly tripled in the past 30 years and Texas is among the states experiencing the biggest growth. Migrants are often liberal-leaning and that's shifting the political landscape of the country. Kate Fisher reports. This Texan temple is the second biggest in the U.S. Celebrating the Buddhist festival of Sangaday, this largely Asian-American congregation is part of the booming population of the city of Stafford. We are the most diverse city because based on our survey, we have a white 25%, African-American 25%, Latino 25%, Asian 25%. In 2019, Alice Chen became the first Asian-American woman to be elected to the city council. She's just been re-elected with 77% of the vote. Her popularity reflects the changing demographic of this state and in turn its political colour. I'll say this, African-American, Latino and Asian mostly voted for Democrat. So that's the reason those people come over to Texas. It's going to change. It's going to definitely change the political map uh, in the future, in the near future. And Fulbin County, like I say, is the future America. But it's not just immigrants who are precipitating this change. So people, especially after the pandemic, people start, they don't need to uh, live across, you know, close to their work, right? So you see a lot of people moving from New Jersey, uh, New York, California, because the tax is so high. You know, the taxes, they pay so much tax for the state. All these people move from New York, from the California. They are Democrat state. So they bring their party to come here. That's a worrying trend for Republicans in Texas's state capital. Republican lawmakers here are trying to pass legislation which would make it more difficult for communities who usually lean Democrat to cast their ballots. They want to put an end to things like drive-through voting and 24-hour voting, practices which advocates say are usually favoured by young people and people of colour. In response, Democratic lawmakers fled to Washington to prevent the Texas House from having enough members present to pass that voting rights bill and to lobby Congress to pass federal protections. Texas's Republican leaders have condemned the move, saying they should get back to work serving their constituents. They argue the changes to the voting laws are necessary to secure the system and to prevent fraud. President Biden and the Democrats must stop the misinformation. Texas is very simply making it easier to vote and harder to cheat. Ed Espinoza is a Democratic strategist. Republicans see what's happening. And rather than try to be a bit more persuasive with a new electorate, they realize that this is an electorate that may not entirely be receptive to the issues that they're trying to, to sell. Uh, so therefore, the answer is to make it harder for those voters to turn out. But he says that will only get tougher for the GOP as Democrat-leaning Americans continue to move to Texas. A lot of the big states are sending people here, but what that's doing is it's changing the landscape here in, the st in, in, the, in Texas. And you were seeing with this flood of people comes a changing electorate. And that ele the, the people moving here tend to be younger, more diverse, and in many ways more liberal minded. Now it's not a panacea, it hasn't flipped the state just yet, but it has made the state much more competitive. Demographer William Frey agrees the change will take time but says it is inevitable. The hardcore uh, Republican vote in Texas still is pretty strong, especially in the rural areas and in the small town areas. But the demography is, is uh, in, uh, in the long term uh, favorable to the Democrats, even in Texas. That demography is clear in communities like Stafford. The mayor is a lifelong Texan. When I moved here in 1975, the best I can remember, the city limit sign said 3,872. He's proud of the growth of his city. He says the latest census results suggests an enormous increase in population. The early prognostication is we're 19,000 something, but we've received no census. And as these 
thousands of new Texans build a community in this state, their numbers and their votes are only likely to increase. Kate Fisher, CNA, Stafford, Texas.